Hey guys, <clears throat> um, re look at the video that I put out about um, Isaiah 27 1 because I got it in prayer. But anyhow, um, if, how the enemy's coming against us is unnatural. Um, everything's pretty twisted, but his word won't go void. That's why I put that out there now. Because I put that out on a lot. But if you read it, the Spirit of the Lord will lift up a sword. What's the sword? It's the Word of God. Cut the head off that serpent. One version of it is, is about it's a twisted Leviathan spirit. Everybody's got some kind of soapbox. All this stuff is all twisted up. You don't know. I mean, it's like the light switch, you turn it off and on. You don't know what's going to transpire tomorrow morning when you wake up. I woke up this morning at 2. The Lord was dealing with me, and I was like, okay, God. I'm a little tired, but I just learned to be obedient. So here I am, guys. But it's time for his people to sound the alarm, guys. Stop all this demonic madness. Look at the videos that I put out, but or look it up. The sound of silence. Are we gonna just kind of sit here? Are we going to speak up? But really, we need to speak up through prayer, from a place of, from a place of strength, Amen. Because God is where is all the churches now? Instead, everybody's turning to the natural. All you hear about is Donald Trump and what he's going to do, and the government's going to do, and the coronavirus garbage. And I'm not mocking any of that the horrific stuff that's going on and the death and all that. There's got, to be, there's got to be some better solutions than what we're doing, guys, than locking down the country. Because that's what the enemy wants. Just make it that much more easier to usher in the mark of the beast, guys. Maybe that's next. Maybe that's going to be tomorrow. What are they going to do if they quarantine the country? Are they going to send out the National Guard and stop you if you get... The police going to stop you in the streets and put you in detention camps? What I mean... Get real, guys. We're gonna win this battle in prayer and in spirit, not in, not in the natural. The thing they've done hasn't done much to stop it, has it? <clears throat> uh, you know, I'm I'm all for common sense. I'm all for, you know, some of that. But a lot of it's nonsense, guys. It really is. It's twisted, but the media's twisted it. Congress has twisted it. Our leadership has twisted it. I'm in Dallas County, and they're, they're just draconian dictatorship type things. But it's like happening all over the country. It's grasping for the wind, the straws, and power. And Man, if we thought the church was on a power trip, look what the world's doing. So we have to untwist it and be about our father's business. <clears throat> and arise and shine, guys, and not be silent. That's what we did with abortion. We did with the gay issue, LBGT, whatever you want to call it. No, all that stuff is cool. It's not cool anymore, guys. It's not cool. It hadn't been cool. If you're a Christian, if you're really a God-fearing, Jesus-living, and you Holy Ghost-filled spiritual being, it isn't cool. I'm sorry. 
I don't know nothing to do with being politically correct. I want to be Jesus correct. Holy Ghost correct. His word correct. God correct. Not even correct. I just want to be obedient. And that's not being obedient. Just letting all this garbage go on. No. Sorry. So anyhow, we love you guys. Um, it's time to take a stand, guys. It's going to be a choosing time. That's why, that's why that's out there. The storm's coming, guys. This is just a prelude to the storm, probably. It might be one of the bigger storms, but it seems like it. I don't think so. But it's not. <clears throat> it's a purifying storm. That's what the Lord told me. It's, it's time to choose. It's going to be time to choose. No more sitting on the fence. No more wishy-washy. No more building your house upon sand. You're going to be built upon the rock or not. Read Matthew 22, 20, 21, 42. First part's about the stone the builder rejected. But then that, what does the stone do? We either got to fall on, on the cross, fall on Jesus and his word, or let it fall on us. <clears throat> Guys, I'm not making this up for brownie points or for an offering from you guys. I don't get any from anybody anyhow. I'm totally living by faith. My wife and I are totally living by faith. Send us money if you want. I want 10 bucks if you don't, you know, if it's going to be a problem. I, yeah, nothing to do with nothing. <clears throat> God's my source. Jesus is my source. The Holy Ghost is my source. His words, my source. <clears throat> I've got a hundred miracles that have happened in the last couple months. I don't get to some of them, but because God is very good, gracious, merciful, and His truth endures forever. And His word's going to stand, it's not going to go out void. <clears throat> so we have to let it be portrayed through us. We're the light of the world, guys. So let's act like it. Anyhow, that's kind of, you know. I'm going to end with this because this is relevant to this twistedness. Just look at the video I got about how he's coming against us in the natural. And you can't win in the spiritual. This was a vision that I had. I also got the one out about the book that came out in 2015. <clears throat> but, follow them. But in this one, I saw the, the body of Christ, different members in the, in the, the body, and the, and the enemy was, it was a serpent. He was weaving through. He would snatch, bite people on the head. And cover their whole, you couldn't even see their head, even bit down to their neck. And I was like, man, a little apprehension hit. And I was like, I think I can kill him. He's taking people out. But then he'd back off. Release them. But when he released them, they had a hood on them and they couldn't speak or see. But their ears were opened. There was an opening in their ears. And then I saw them and they were eagles and they couldn't fly and soar because their navigation and their direction and everything was off because they couldn't see, but they could hear and he was spewing out stuff, vomit, garbage into their ear and they couldn't see to know the truth and they couldn't speak. Blinding us guys with all this mistruthed, garbaged stuff, not just the coronavirus. <clears throat> the Bible says, lean not on your own understanding. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding. <clears throat> guys, our understanding of God is in a mess. <clears throat> this is what the Lord showed me. We're still trying to figure out 
who shot JFK 50 years ago. The Warren Report, a whole, how many pages in a book, 250 pages or whatever. <clears throat> There's everything from semi-made, maybe making sense, to the CIA did it, to conspiracy crackpots. That's our understanding, guys. It's time to get his understanding, his direction. And you're not going to get it with all this talk show host kind of stuff. Surreal. Everybody went to the internet. Cause, and they got a little pile of money and they think they're going to survive this. With their little bitty pot of gold. Even if it's a big pot. It ain't. It ain't happening. The houses got tore down, the houses that were built upon sand, and now we're going to have to build upon the rock, the true rock of Jesus. Peter, who do men say that I am? Can't, you know, no more. Guys, it's time to choose. You're going to get it in your neology, not your theology. Not in your ability, but in your availability. And it's in the listening, guys. That's why I had that vision. He wants us to listen to the truth. And you're not going to get it. Not even from not even from me. or the, There's other good ministers out there. There's other good men and women of God. There's prayer warriors. There, there is some prophets, but that's such a misused, misguided term. You know, everybody wants to be, go to, just pick. They're not open anymore, but go to all these churches and everybody was a prophet or an apostle. And I'm not picking on just this one denomination, but everyone ought to be an apostle, a prophet, or a pope. So that they didn't have to listen to, to anybody, including God. <clears throat> he wants his people. Don't spot, blemish, or wrinkle. That's us, guys. Not anymore, but I don't care if you were the doorkeeper or you had a million people in your church. Same. We all have to do the very same thing. Get a hold of him. In prayer, that's why I'm telling you the 5 a.m. prayer is so important because, you know, we'll all be, you know, the more of us that are together, it could be millions if we all get together. And your prayer could be all day long, middle, middle of the night, whatever, you know. Now that everybody's kind of home, it could be any time. But it's important that we all get together. As a body. So. Invite this. Because our, our our warfare is not carnal. It's not flesh and blood. It's against spiritual wickedness. In high places. Principalities. Darkness. Gross darkness. It's in the spirit guys. Not in the natural. Not in. I'm going to get a thousand dollar check. Or a stimulus check. There. I mean there's all. It's fake money. Anyhow, guys, we didn't have it. We just went in more to debt. It's credit card money. Basically, that's my second grade math. I'm not an economist, but I mean, think about it. Well, where did it come from? <clears throat> where, you know, everything's, what's Trump doing? You know, what's the government doing? What's God, Jesus, the Holy Ghost, and His Word doing? That's where we need to be. About our father's business. Not this world's business, because it's kind of seemingly crumbling and crashing all around us pretty quickly. But not just because of this coronavirus. It's been coming, guys, for a long time. People are like, well, the preacher been saying that, you know, I'm, and I have heard that. I got saved in 1980, so it's pretty much the same message back then. A little more blatant today in your face. A little more eye-opening. But we're just going to idly sit by. Or are we going to seek his face between the porch and the altar? Really out, cry out for direction because he wants us to listen more than he wants us to talk and preach and minister to people. We are going to do that, and we're going to have to, because we're going to be the light of the world. But we got to have his direction. 
maybe even a correction, direction, protection, correction, all of those. Not gonna get it, guys. From all this surreal stuff, I'm, you know, looking at Instagram and stuff, and man, people are just putting on goofy stuff. Supposed preachers and men and women of God and just some of them and the few that I've checked and, and there's a lot of good stuff out there too. So you know I've, but it's like man, guys, when are we gonna get this? It's kind of where I'm at. My warning. Me too, guys. I gotta get this too. I gotta get his divine direction too. I gotta. I I know I've got a responsibility to be accountable for all these words that I'm putting out and what I'm saying. So I don't take it lightly, and you shouldn't either. But let's get it from God, guys. I don't care if you have a single stay-at-home mom. Now it's everybody stay at home, but. Sheer madness and stupidity, and it's demonic, guys. Not just to stay at home base, but it's to stop the voice of the Lord through His people. It really is. And everybody's there's all these casualties because of it. But it's the spiritual casualty, guys. Everybody's like, I'm gonna end with this. I put this out there too, but people are like, Are you? Taking this coronavirus seriously? Are you staying home? You know, everybody's like, lock, shut, shut up. Get it. Man, how long is that gonna last, guys? Taking this coronavirus seriously? Are you taking Jesus seriously? Because <clears throat> whatever we pass in this life, into death, whatever cause that gets us there, pales in comparison to where we're going to spend eternity, our life in eternity. It's time to meet Jesus. And you're going to meet him at the altar, praying and weeping before God for direction. God, Jesus, the Holy Ghost, and his word. Let's get this right, guys. <clears throat> we can... We can win this battle, or we can just kind of just do like everybody else, hold up and shut up. And man, even common sense tells you, okay, great, two weeks. Okay, great. Everybody just kind of tread water and look around when you go to the store. <clears throat> Where are all these people going to be that would have been paycheck to paycheck in a month? They aren't going to be worried about getting to the grocery store because they're not going to have any gas. They're not going to be able to pay their rent. Their lights are going to be cut off and their water is going to be cut. Where is everybody going to be in a month, two months? Because of all this dictatorship, draconian, turn to the world, natural, you know, $1,000 check or whatever, $1,200 check. Yeah, guys, most of us, how long is that going to last? A week, couple weeks, even going to be a month. Some of us might be able to stretch it into a month. Well, even then, you're going to, before the ink's even dried on the check, you're going to need another one. <clears throat> so, what we really need is Jesus. God, Jesus, the Holy Ghost, and His Word. And you're not going to get it. You can't go by and sell. You can't, there's, no, no. You know, and but, but I'm sorry to say, but a lot of them are hypocritical, phony, and built upon sand, false religious churches. God, just let's start over. Okay, God. Well, I'm here. You're here. There's a lot of good, solid Christians, good, God, godly people. So, and so, yeah, they, there is a lot of good news. There is grace and his mercy and his truth and earth forever. And his word's not going to go void. That's what we need to get, guys. And we need to get as many people gathered up as we can. 
Because it, you know, pretty apparent times getting shorter and shorter. I don't know what the out oh, tomorrow's gonna bring in either to you or the next day or the next minute or the next you know. So just get this right, guys. Quit letting this twisted surreal stuff, quit letting this fear and panic and that's what he told me this morning. He wants to be with us. He doesn't want us for him. He wants us to be with him and in us, within us. We're his sons and his daughters. No more servants and slaves to the fear and cares of this life. That's, come well, on, that was, you know, just gimmicks and schemes and games to just control you. And where did it come from? The enemy. That's why I said it's demonic. And all this other stuff is just trying to control you. you know, don't go out because you're going to spread the disease. <clears throat> Where's the blood of the lamb? And his divine protection. And his covering. And abiding under the shadow of the almighty and being connected to the vine. No, it's what. You know, what's the government going to do to pay my bills? <laughs> Little bit off, guys. Twist it up. But God's going to untwist this. He's going to have the last say so. Even the timing of it, guys. Look at the time that we're in right now, today, to the reality of it. It's Easter. Almost Easter. Oh, he's going to rise again. This time in us. And it might be this next week. Because there's an explosion coming. Holy Ghost outpouring. Not a revival. I didn't take something that's dead and revive it. That's not even there. Biblically, it's an outpouring of His Spirit through us. Or as vessels. You guys are too, if you're listening, apparently. I don't know where everybody's at, and it's part of the different people are at different part places in their in their journey. It's time for his people to rise and shine, and you'd be one of them. He wants us to make that choice, guys. We love you. Um, talk to you soon. Um we if you need to email me, Jesus is alive in America at gmail.com. Um, blog with us, comments on here. We just love you guys, and let's get out of this. Turn off the news, honestly. This twistedness because we're eating too much garbage. That's not good for us. When we need to be feasting on the word, when there's a table set before us in the presence of our enemies, when the wedding supper's called, he just picked the menu. We don't get to pick what we want to eat. We don't get to pick our seats. None of that. We just need to show up to the marriage supper of the Lamb, to the wedding. The table that's spread before us. His people are not going to be let down. If you make that choice to be down under the protection and the covering and the, under the wings of the Almighty and under the shadow of the Almighty. I don't know what's going to happen, guys, while I do, but, you know. And that, but this is not a fear-based message because even that's biblical. Because it says in Revelation, the fearful and disobedient won't enter in. I don't want a bunch of scaredy cats, a bunch of scared Christians, and you just come to them because you want, you're scared of, of some plague or the virus or some... Man, guys... That's where you're going to get it in your neology, in your prayer closet, in your direction. How much he really loves you. Then he wants the God that created heaven and earth wants to be your friend and talk with you, walk with you, be with you. And he sent his son. That was his plan. We tried, we can't go some other way. 
you're not going to get it in your availability in your in your ability but it's going to be in your availability you just want looking for us to listen so that's my message my whole everything saying doesn't change it's directional get it for straight from the source god jesus the holy ghost and his word those rivers of living water are waiting for you to use these but it's in here not in your own understanding not in mine because none of this makes sense in our own understanding like i said we're still trying to figure out who, got, who shot jfk <laughs> that's our understanding God, we think we're somebody because we invented a cell phone or whatever sent a man to the moon and guys, I'll end with this. We think we so so brilliant in that. Well, I'm not, you know, it's been a long time, but I'm not a scientist either, but take the atom. What is it? A nucleus and a proton. One's flying around the other one. They power big old aircraft carriers from the nuclear vision or whatever it is. <clears throat> Those things are in constant motion. Where is their power source coming from? You can't even see them. They're so tiny. So, what's powering them? Keep flying and moving, or your heartbeat, you know, for 180 years. Man, guys, time to really, really get out of our, our heads, out of your mind, and we need to be. And let this mind of Christ be in you. So, anyhow, we love you guys. Um, thanks for tuning in. Talk to you soon.